Welcome back to another video. It is your girl Coco. Hey ladies. Today I wanted to just talk to you heart to heart about some things that I like to do to keep myself sane physically, mentally, and emotionally. And a few things on this list, they're just things that you probably already do that I think are very, very helpful for someone who's a very busy, someone who has children, even someone who's like a content creator. Like sometimes we just become so caught up in what we're doing or we actually can experience burnout and we're not being as creative. Trust me, I know. But I wanted to drop a couple of jewels and things that I love to do to keep myself together as a black woman in America, guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna jump into a few things that I love to do and I hope you enjoy and I hope you guys incorporate some of these tips just to keep you sane. And I wanna say, as a style coach, when I do have clients and I talk to them about putting themselves first, I notice that it's very hard for a lot of women to do that. That is solely because they have heard from many people that it is selfish to kind of put yourself first, but it's not, ladies. So let's jump right into it. First thing I wanna talk about are my nails. Nails <laughs> are something that is very simple, but you see your hands every day. You wake up, you brush your teeth, you see your hands, you handshake with people, you grab a drink, you have your hands, well, you're using your hands, and your nails are important. For those girls who love to wear uh, long nails, I guess extensions, any press-ons, uh, that's totally fine. And then for the girls who like to wear manicures, just strictly manicures, or they like to put gels on, gel nail polish on their hand, that's fine as well. Nails are important. That's one thing that I never, ever, <laughs> ever bend on. I'll say this, I heard a video recently and a man was saying that he loves to see women have their nails done. I, I think it's true. You feel good when your nails are done. You don't have to wear long nails. Now, for the girls like me who have really big hands, my hands look better with a slight nail. Like, you know, these are mine. They grew out, but I look better with this because my hands are so big. If you are the girl who loves to wear like really long nails bless your heart <laughs> but your nails are important and i think that is something that women should always do it sounds like a tip that we all should know but to be quite honest every woman doesn't know that so the other thing i love to do is my hair even though i love to wear units my natural hair i take care of okay if i'm not chopping it off because i just don't feel like going through it i am definitely doing a garlic treatment in my hair that I make at home that I got from this Dominican lady in New York. Absolutely love it. Or I'm doing some sort of hair uh, mask or a steam or something. I am always doing my moisture balance with my hair, moisture, moisture pr protein balance, um, because that is also important. And I want to say I have a Kindle, but if you have not read The Science of Black Hair, you need to. I read the book twice. I have it on my Kindle so I can pretty much go ahead and search something that I wanna look for when I kind of feel like I'm struggling with my hair. I'm just kind of sitting on my bed, guys, <laughs> just relaxing. My hair is another thing that I'm not gonna budge on regardless of if I do have a protective style. I'm always going to make sure my hair underneath is taken care of, all right? So that's my nails and my hair. Let's talk about body hair. Body care is something that is on a rise now. And I don't want to say it's on a rise because we've all been taking care of our bodies. But it's some things that we've never thought about, like doing a scrub once a week on the body, like a light scrub, or even exfoliating your face um, once a week with a product. Just taking care of your skin with vitamin C, using serums and stuff. I'll be the first to say growing up, my mom <laughs> had us putting Vaseline on our face. Now, we know Vaseline is bad. However, my skin was at its best. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I had no issues with my skin. And it was to the point where if I would get like a bump or something, literally it would leave a mark. I would put Vaseline and it was like that skin would come off. So I'm not saying to use Vaseline. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm saying it worked for me. I haven't used it in a long time, but I feel like my skin was better back then. I don't know. But skincare is important. Uh, body care, you know, things, good lotions, things that good, well, things that actually make your skin moisturize. I love the Kiehl's Creme de la Corp. Um, lotion it is expensive but I absolutely love it and I think that if you can find it for the low low get it that lotion has my skin looking so moisturized <laughs> I've never seen my skin so moisturized so I don't know if it's a I think it's called squalene that's in it that makes the skin like that but I absolutely love it now if you want something more affordable don't sleep on Nivea guys like the original Nivea I think it's so good. Not the new stuff that they have, but the old original one in the dark blue bottle. I swear by that. Like, if you cannot afford something higher end, definitely don't sleep on the local your local stores to get something like Nivea. All right, let me get into my sleep pattern. Very early on as a child, my mom had us in the bed at eight o'clock, okay? So it was no hanging out super late until I got like a little maybe like 17 right before I moved out if you guys want to hear that story I will tell you that too this is in New York City so going to bed at 8 o'clock was just the norm as an adult I am still in the bed by 10 o'clock sometimes 9 like yesterday <laughs> depending on how I'm feeling I would rather unwind in my bed so if you haven't unwind before definitely try it as opposed to you coming in the house rushing blah 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 and then or doing a whole bunch of things and just like literally barely making it to your bed and falling right to sleep when you're laying down in your bed and you're just like relaxed and you're literally unwinding from the day and you actually sleep better which leads me to my other thing that I love to do which is meditating meditating and listening to different frequency music things that reprogram the mind at night, I love it. If you are not into that, trust me, you will love it. You will sleep through the night. If you suffer from like sleep apnea, I know it's a medical condition, but I'm telling you when you put that music on, you find the right frequency or some sort of sleep music, you're going to sleep through the night. I had days where I would get up, use the restroom and would not be able to go back to sleep once I started listening to that, the best. Like, I'm right back to sleep. So now I'm listening to a 30-day, where I'm challenging myself to listen to something for 30 days where it's like reprogramming my mind and just like affirmations and stuff. And just literally, it's like seeping into my brain and my subconscious mind. And I actually feel really, really good. So meditating is another thing. If you have the space for it, I would recommend getting you, and I will pop in a picture, but they do say you should keep your meditating area sacred, so I'll probably find another photo or something and pop it in. But definitely, if you have the space for it, like a little room in a closet in the corner, create that meditating space. Create like a prayer corner or something, whatever works for you. That way, you can go there every morning before you do anything and just meditate on that day set your intentions and kind of go from there. So meditating is the other thing that I love to do that I'm never ever ever going to budge on. Let's not forget about eating. For those of you ladies and gentlemen who have been following me, I am a plant-based vegan, but goodness gracious guys, I'm struggling right now where I have an urge to eat fish. I don't know if that could be because maybe I am lacking something in my body. Not too sure, but I have an urge for seafood and I may dive into it. You guys tell me if you have struggled with this, but eating is a very, very important to me. My eating habits, eating mostly foods that I cook is something that I would pride myself on. If I do eat out, I do it sometimes, but I'll be honest, I always end up like on the toilet because your girl has been eating so good for so long that the food that they that I'm eating out the oils and stuff the season it just doesn't work well with my body eating is very very important along with water and juicing guys if you do not juice or drink smoothies like fruit smoothies with vegetables and stuff you need to do it at least once a day if you can if you can't afford a expensive juicer 
try something a little bit more affordable and just make it work for you. So eating is a very important to me. It's something that I'm always gonna do, especially ever since I understood what the foods do to you. And you guys already know, I talk about my mom passing from breast cancer, my grandmother and my aunt. Eating habits are important. They say certain things are hereditary. I don't think so. Personally, I feel like what's hereditary is your eating habits because you eat like your family. When you break the cycle, it's not that they ate bad, but they did smoke. They did smoke cigarettes. Uh, but when you eat bad, it definitely adds to a lot of the things that people deal with. So that is the other thing, eating is some, eating habits, great eating habits is something that I'm never gonna budge on as well. All right, let's get into reading books. I love to read books. If it's not an actual physical book or like a journal type of book, I am looking at my Kindle. I love to do it. It doesn't matter what it is. I love to learn things new. There's a ton of books that I wanna get, but for some strange reason, these particular books, I wanna say they're for black people. The price is high. And my uncle was like, it wasn't like that before. <laughs> this book was cheaper. So to me, there's something in this particular book that somebody don't want us to know. Uh, but I'm probably still going to do it because he said it's a really, really great book. But reading is something that I love to do. And you should too. Just try to pick up something that you could actually read. Um, even if it's a short book of affirmations. Read something daily. Which leads me into my other point, walking. I'm not the girl that's out here doing workouts all day. I used to be that. Um, you guys know I did go to the Pilates class. I did not show that vlog yet because there's just so much going on in that video. But I did go to the, to the Pilates class. I loved it. I am going to sign up. But walking is something that I'm going to start doing, even if it's like three times a week around the park over here. It's a really nice park, very clean, and I enjoy it. Walking is another thing that I started to do. I'm, this is an add-on. The rest of this stuff I've been doing for many, many years, but this is like an add-on because I never liked walking, guys. I don't know what my deal is with walking. It just wasn't my thing, but I absolutely love it, getting this vitamin D. It's amazing. So if you haven't been walking, if you are, if you are on some sort of like journey, health journey, start with walking. Take it slowly. Don't let anybody discourage you. I would recommend walking first, as well as eating, because you know eating is like, ugh, like 99% of everything. So walking is another thing that I love to do, and I'm not gonna give up. Taking time for myself is one meaning taking trips, taking myself to the movies, taking myself on a little solo date, taking myself for walks in a park, taking myself shopping, pampering myself literally. Even if it's buying something from my home, I am a cancer, my home is my sanctuary. If my home is not in order, I am literally thrown out of whack. I've been like that for years, so I know I need to clean, I need to dust, I need to do certain things, it needs to smell good in here, I need to have a ton of things stacked in here like towels and tissue and food. I like to be home, so my home is my sanctuary, so I'm always gonna have the things that I need available for me. Taking time for myself, whether it is just being home, watching TV, again, or literally, honestly, cleaning up. Cleaning up is very, very, I don't know, it's very therapeutic for me. Um, the air just came on, guys. So it's very therapeutic for me, and it may not be for some others, but it definitely helps me with relaxing. And once I'm done and it smells good, I just relax, take a bubble bath, which is a part of my body care, and then I just kind of chill out, guys. And the last thing is I remove people and things that do not add value to my life out of it. You have to learn how to get rid of people regardless of who they are. Now, I am not the girl, okay? You guys have not seen this side of me, but I am not the girl who feels like because they are my relative that I have to deal with certain things. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. If someone in my family is not good or have good energy, who is a user, I don't care. You out of there. I'm just not going to deal with you. If you are a person who takes advantage of people, you're out of there. If you are a person who is a bully, you're out of there. Okay? It's just what it is. I've had friends where I feel like they were like 
kind of low-key bullies or underlying not really happy for me. And to be quite honest, friendships have died. And let me tell you something, I am happy. Like, I am never upset about a friendship that goes sour because 99% of the times, they didn't really have your best interest. And sometimes you, you see it, but you ignore it. So these are some of the things that I love to do to keep myself in a healthy mental state, a physical state, and anything else that will help me remain kind of balanced and on track. I hope that helps you ladies. This was just like, kind of like an impromptu video. I was just sitting here, I cleaned up this weekend, and I feel so good that I did that because so much has been going on and my brain has been full of so, stuff. For the ladies with children and maybe a household full of people, you can still do a lot of these things for yourself. You may not be able to do it in the house, but you can definitely go to a park and have some time for yourself. For the moms, if you are married, give the child to the husband. If you are a single mother, you can definitely have a friend babysit send the kids to the daddy, <laughs> have your time for yourself. If you do not take time for yourself, you are going to be inundated with pressure. And that's not what you wanna do. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Those 10 things that I love to do that I'm never gonna stop doing to keep myself grounded mentally, physically, and emotionally, guys. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog for tall girls, Coco Styles NYC.com. And my style services for everyone, <laughs> Coco Styles NY.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.